it would backfire tremendously, Ireland rejects EU states' call to join NATO. Ireland will not follow EU unaligned state suit in joining NATO anytime soon, despite Russia's continuous attacks on Ukraine. Some non-aligned EU states are mulling the idea of joining NATO, with Finland and Sweden at the forefront of the initiative as Russia's invasion of Ukraine persists. Finland will take a decision about whether to apply to join the US-led military alliance in the next few weeks, Prime Minister Sanna Marin said on Wednesday. Finland and fellow Nordic state and neighbour Sweden are close partners with NATO but have shied away from joining the 30-member alliance. Founded in 1949 to counter the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Speaking at a press conference with her Swedish counterpart, Ms. Marin said, We have to be prepared for all kinds of actions from Russia. She said the option to join NATO had to be carefully analyzed but that everything had changed when Russian forces invaded Ukraine in late February. The difference between being a partner and being a member is very clear and will remain so. There is no other way to have security guarantees than under NATO's deterrence and common defense is guaranteed by NATO's Article 5, she said. I won't give any kind of timetable when we will make our decisions, but I think it will happen quite fast, within weeks not within months, said the Finnish leader, whose country shares a 1,300-kilometer, 810-mile, long border with Russia to the east. But not everyone in the EU, who is not already part of NATO, thinks it would be a good idea to join the alliance. Ireland's European Affairs Minister Thomas Byrne said there are no plans for Dublin to join NATO. He said, the polls are not showing an appetite by the Irish public for NATO membership at the moment. If any government were to rush into it, I think it would backfire tremendously. Finland and Sweden, which is also reviewing its security policy with conclusions expected toward the end of May. Both take part in NATO exercises and crisis management initiatives as well as exchange intelligence with the alliance. But until recently the two Nordic neighbours felt peace was best kept by not publicly choosing sides.